Oh. Hi. Uh, my name is Eric. I am a bicycle rider and enthusiast. I happen to own a bike shop, this slice of bicycle heaven called Econo Bike, located here in Redlands, California. I spend a lot of time on a bike. One of the things I love doing is, doing is touring and bikepacking and commuting. I notice that when I'm touring lately, I'm touring with a ton of electronics. An iPhone, I've got headlights, I've got taillights, I've got a spot tracker, I've got a Garmin, I've got a GoPro, uh, headlamps and other batteries to charge. And so it gets kind of crazy. So I was planning a trip a couple weeks ago. The idea was to ride for four days across the Mojave Desert following the ancient Mojave Road. And I did it on this rig right here. And uh, to do that, I was going to be four days off the grid and needed a dependable way uh, to power all my devices. So I did a bunch of research and that led me to the pedal cell, which seemed like a really good solution. I picked one up and talked to the guys there and they were super helpful. And this is what I've got set up on my bike. Got a water bottle cage here, a three bolt cage on my fork blade, which meant that this whole device had to kind of point out having this just sticking out in this direction wasn't wasn't a big deal at all so if i'm grinding through sand or uphill and i don't have a ton of energy to give this is in the off position and I, it's no drag uh at all and then when i have long downhill cruises out thusly there we go and it sits against the rim and it spins with the wheel so that cable runs up here zip tied to my fork cable from the generator comes up here to the pedal cell, which has two USB-Cs coming out the bottom of that. Got an adapter to a standard USB. That USB is connected to my battery. This is just a standard USB battery. The pedal cell just charged this big battery. This big battery charges everything else that's USB enabled. I can charge the battery when it's easy to do so. I can pop this thing off when I don't want it. Just a fantastic solution. So I love that I could turn it on and off. I love that it sits up high on the wheel. Uh, the road had a couple of water crossings that, that came up pretty deep. It had a hub dyno. It would have gotten submerged. In this case, it got we got a little muddy, but we're still in good shape. It's a rock solid device, real thick, heavy plastic, USB universality. In winter time, when I commute to work, uh, I can pop this thing off of this bike. There's no commitment here. I can just unbolt it, bolt it to my commuter, and then I use it to keep my headlight charged when I'm commuting in the wintertime. So I don't ever have to remember to plug in my headlight. So we carry these here in the shop. Like this, we've got them here in the shop. Come and see, uh, see one in action on whatever bike I've got this assembled on. It's here in the shop, you can come check it out and, uh, and pick one up for yourself. Um, it's a really fantastic device, highly recommended. So, thanks.